What was that noise? Oh no! Someone ruined my bell! Was it the German weasels? Or perhaps the father rhino? It was the baby rhino with the red duck coming out of his back! Alright, in this insane scene, we learn about rubella virus, the cause of rubella. Rubella is represented by this ruined bell. Someone came in the middle of the night and shattered this bell. So ruined bell reminds us of rubella. The owner of the bell woke up in the middle of the night. At first he thought it was the German weasels that did it. German weasels reminds us of German measles, as rubella virus is also known as German measles. It's also known as three day measles, which is why in the scene there were three weasels. Three for three, three day measles. Anyway, we take a look at the owner of the bell, and we recall that he was wearing a toga in his bed. That's how he came out of his cottage in the middle of the night. Toga reminds us of toga virus, as rubella virus is a member of the toga virus family. These viruses are single-stranded positive sense RNA viruses. RNA is represented by the rhinos in the scene. Rhinos show up in our microbiology videos on RNA viruses. Rhino for RNA. And on this rhino on top over here, we notice the positive sign. Perhaps he is a paramedic. This positive sign reminds us of positive sense, that they are positive sense linear RNA viruses. Before we take a look at the details of these rhinos, we recall that the owner has an envelope. This reminds us of the structure of rubella, that it has an envelope, and specifically one that surrounds an icosahedron capsid. Let's take a look at this father rhino. Again, the owner thought that this father rhino ruined the bell. This rhino over here has an arrow on him that says rash headed towards his body. This reminds us of the rash that presents in rubella. It spreads downward from the face, towards the trunk and extremities. Actually, this rhino's name is Arthur, which reminds us of the arthralgias which present in rubella infection. And the huge lymph node behind his ear reminds us of the post-auricular or occipital lymph endinopathy that presents in patients. Finally, this thermometer over here reminds us of the fever that presents. And then we take a look at this picture down here, where we recall the baby rhino. This baby rhino was in fact the one who ruined the bell. This baby rhino reminds us of congenital rubella, a serious disease leading to birth defects. These birth defects include sentineural deafness, represented by this rhino's hearing aid over here. And the duck that came out of him towards the end of the scene reminds us of the ductus, the patent ductus arteriosus, PDA, which presents in congenital rubella. We also recall that his eyes were exploding. Kind of random, I know. But the eyes exploding remind us of the cataracts, which are part of the triad of congenital rubella. Again, sentineural deafness, patent ductus arteriosus, and cataracts. These babies classically present with a blueberry muffin appearance, but I didn't put this in the scene since this is not necessary for diagnosis. I just want to end off this scene by mentioning that the MMR vaccine includes measles, mumps, and rubella. It's a live attenuated vaccine given at 12 to 15 months of age, and this virus has greatly reduced the incidence of congenital rubella. Alright, I hope you enjoyed this scene. Take care.